Hey, MC Tracy here, Director of Campaign Strategy and Performance at TMT. Have you ever thought making professional looking videos is too complicated? Well, let's bust that myth today with a tool I like to use called Canva. In this video, I'll walk you through creating a quick and effective video, and it will be a step-by-step -step video. So take a look here. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to go to canva.com and make yourself an account if you don't have one already. Some of the things I show you today will include uh, aspects that are included in the Canva Pro account, but you do not have to have a Canva Pro account uh, to create video content. So what we're going to do is on canva.com, we are going to select this videos option on under what will you design today. Then we will select the mobile video option, which will give you a 1080 by 1920 pixel size. Now I'm going to go to the design templates function. It should just automatically populate in this area. And I'm going to look for a templated video that I like and matches my branding. So what I'm looking for here is not necessarily the videos that are going on uh, or the imaging in the background. What I'm looking for is if the uh, look and feel is what I'm going for. So for an IT provider, I probably won't be going for this film type of look. Um, that's something that doesn't really fit with my brand, where I might go with something a little more modern like this. And I can always change the video in the background, but I like the way that they have, you know, a clean uh, text here um, with a clean line, etc. So you can just browse and, and look for something that uh, fits with your branding style. I'm going to select this one um, because it has some technology pieces in it, which makes the job a lot easier to do. So I'm going to click on this and then click apply all five pages. Now I will show you what the video looks like uh, before we make any edits. So there's a couple things I wanna change here. First is I know that I have four different slides that have text on them. So I went ahead and asked ChatGPT to help me out with that. I said, hey, I'm creating a 10 second video that pushes users to book an appointment with an IT provider. The video is 10 seconds long and includes four different slides. Can you create the wording to add into the four different slides in the video? And it said, sure thing. Text one is gonna be tired of tech headaches. Slide two will be ready for a smoother, stress-free IT experience. Slide three, our expert team has your back. And then slide four, book a free consultation today. So I'm going to use this text to add in to my video. So first thing is I'm going to double click on this and change it out to tired of, let's see, what exactly did it say? Tired of tech headaches. My next slide, I'm going to add in ready for a smoother, stress-free IT experience. I'm just gonna double click into here. Um, and for IT not to be on its own, I'm gonna just expand this a little bit and get all of that in one line. And then I'll move it back to center using their centering tool. This doesn't have any text on this one. And then I'm going to jump into this one and change that to our expert team has your back. Make sure I get that period in there. And then finally, we're just going to say, book a free consultation today. And the video can always be accompanied by a caption so that you can uh, include your URL uh, in the caption. So we've got book a free consultation today. I'm going to just bump up that font size a little bit that we can really read it. Now, I want to change out some of the video in the background. I like this one with the tech, with the guy using his computer. I don't necessarily like the one with a camera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to search for maybe another computer. So I searched computer and I'm going to select videos here to find a um, video of a computer that I would like to drag and drop in place of 
the uh, camera. Since it is a close up picture with somebody's hands holding a camera, I think we can also include that same kind of style um, with a different video. So I'm going to select this one and drop it in. Now I want you to notice that it changed my two second video to a 6.6 .6 second video just because the new video um, kind of made that change. So I'm going to go back to making it a 2.2 second video. Next, I like this video of the guy on the computer. I like this video of the gal on her phone, but I don't necessarily like the video of selecting paint samples. So I'm going to switch that out as well with a um, computer video. Let's do this aerial view. Next, I like the video of the lady at her computer. And then finally, I'll change out this video of um, this lady playing pool and I will make it into a another computer video instead. Maybe this one. That made it 24 seconds long, so I definitely need to trim that down, back down to around two seconds. So now let's watch our video again. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna change is I'm gonna go into the audio here. I like the background music it has. I like these keyboard um, typing sequences. I don't love the crowd saying yay, so I'm going to just select that and then click the delete key on my computer um, and fix that. And there you have it. This is my final video. Well, that wasn't too bad, right? With tools like Canva, you're never far from making great content that captures attention. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and help your fellow IT pros get in on these tips too. If you're committed to taking your MSP business to the next level, we've got something special for you. A free 60-minute consult with one of our top advisors. Get personalized advice to attract premium clients, boost your recurring revenue, and lock in those high-profit contracts. Hit the link in the description or go to itmarketingplan.com to book your session.